Hey YouTube, I'm Lucky and Trials is right around the corner. It comes out in like the day after this, you're gonna see this video right here. And so I'm gonna go over my Trials build for my Titan, my Hunter and my Warlock because I'm gonna be going flawless on all three characters when it comes back. I'm super excited, I can't wait to play. Um, I love the sandbox changes. I love the, the changes in the game quite a bit. Stasis is really strong, so I'm gonna be using Stasis on all three characters because it's new and it's interesting. I mean, even if some of the other classes, maybe the older classes might be stronger, I wanna use Stasis, I wanna use the newer stuff. So I'm gonna be sticking to Stasis on all three characters. So the first thing I'll cover is the weapons I'm gonna use. There are a variety of other weapons that I'm gonna use besides these, but this is my go-to loadout right here. I'm thinking the Sturm is really good. I don't know why, I've got the Catalyst. It just hits really nice, really clean, and uh, I really like using the Sturm. The range is unbelievable. And the forgiveness is there. It's like one to the head, two to the body, unless they have a really high resilience. So I love the Sturm. This is going to be my go-to gun. We'll see if this ends up being in the top 10. It would be crazy if it was in the top 10. I will be doing a meta report after the first weekend of trials, of course. We'll see which guns are the true top 10 weapons. I'm sure that Felwinter's Lie will be in the top 10, though. There's just no doubt about that. This weapon is just too strong uh, with the ability to swap from opening shot to Vorpal. There's nothing new that came out in Beyond Light to compete against the Felwinter's Lie, and feels bad if you're still experiencing the Felwinter's FOMO, uh, and it's not available for you. I'm sorry for, about that. Hopefully soon, Bungie will get on top of that. The Blast Batu is what's going to replace my play of the game. This thing's nasty. We got proximity grenades and killing wind now, so when we get a kill, we get the increased mobility, weapon range, and handling for a short time, so I'm kind of stoked on this. And this chain reaction could also be really dope. We'll see how this plays out. I haven't got to use this a whole bunch in PvP yet, but uh, it's the same RPM as my play of the game that you've seen me use so many times over and over again if you've watched the streams. So this will be replacing my play of the game because the play of the game has been Sunset, and so no reason to use that anymore. You can't use that anymore, rather. Going over my stats, we got 30 mobility, 50 resilience, 100 recovery, 50 discipline, 80 intellect, and 20 strength. The mods I'm using on the helmet, we've got an intellect mod, hand cannon targeting, shotgun targeting. Targeting mods are going to be essential. We've got hand cannon loader, definitely going to need to reload the primary quite a bit, as per usual. Uh, on the chest piece, I'm using radiant light, which gives you plus 20 strength, so that's really nice. This is uh, only to an arc. Uh, armor piece and I would recommend doing it on the chest or the class item Those are the only armor pieces that have the most forgiveness like for example You really need to use you know one of these nice mods and one of these nice mods here So that's eight so I wouldn't have enough if this was an arc piece I wouldn't have enough for that mod you get what I'm saying so chest piece for radiant light and uh, There's another one mod that I'll go over later on my other builds on my warlock and my hunter So got that covered now we're going to the boots. I'm gonna continue to use dune marchers just a solid you know, clean exotic. I am using the, some of the different exotics on my, my Hunter and my Warlock, though, so uh, I'm not staying too, you know, old school with it. But we got Shotgun Scavenger, Sniper Scavenger now instead of Special Ammo Scavenger. And we got the Recovery Mod here. And that's what we were doing it with that. And then the class item, we got Recovery Mod, Distribution, and Perpetuation. There's really not much to fit in these slots, so I just sort of threw those in there. Those really aren't that big a deal, though. So that'll be my Titan build. That's what I'm going to be using for... Uh, Friday morning trials and I'll be live streaming it now. Let me cover it on my other characters now Now you might be a warlock main you might be a hunter main whatever it may be me personally I play Titan primarily right now and I want to continue playing Titan But if the sandbox changes are so strong that one character uh, Stands out so much more. I will definitely be swapping to that So I'll be using the revenant class and I am going to use mask of Bacris when I use um, my hunter and on the I have similar mods to my uh, Titans mods, I got the hand cannon targeting, shotgun targeting, and mobility mod is basically for my stat split. I have an insane stat split on my hunter I'm quite happy about. It. We got 70 mobility, 20 resilience, 100 recovery, 40 discipline, 100 intellect, and 40 strength. So we've got really a lot of stats where you got class abilities like crazy. We got everything you could ever want. It's a solid build. For the gauntlet, we got hand cannon loader and intellect mod. Same as my Titan, pretty close to my Titan. We got radiant light here, and then we've got recovery mod. And on the boots, we're going to use do the same thing. We got shotgun and sniper scavenger because I'll go back and forth a little bit here and there based on the size of the map. Maybe we'll get a big map, so I might be doing a little bit of sniping. But for the most part, I will be shotgunning because that is kind of the go-to for me. Um, so, and then on the class item, we actually can use powerful friends to give us that boost to mobility, which is something that's really nice for Hunter, but not so nice for Titan. We got outreach just to sort of fill in the spot here in recovery mod. So that will be my build. This will be what I'll be using for the return of trials on the hunter now last and yes in fact least warlock sorry to any of the warlock viewers out there please don't hate me warlock is just my my least favorite class 
but I will be playing Warlock on the first day of trials, and I'll be going flawless on my Warlock. We'll be using the Shade Binder, and on the helmet, we got Hand Cannon Targeting, Shotgun Targeting, and Recovery Mod. The Gauntlet, I'm actually going to use Claws of Hamakara, which is a little bit different than what I've used in the past, because the melee is just so strong on Warlock. You throw that melee and you freeze people, it's so strong, even though they have lowered the timer, it's still just an ability that needs to be respected. So I'm using that, and my build overall, we've got 20 mobility, 30 resilience, 100 recovery, 20 discipline, 60 intellect, and 100 strength. So I'm using max strength with Claws of Hamakara. I'm trying to freeze everyone out there when I'm on my Warlock. If you fight against me, you're getting frozen, hopefully. That's the good game plan, at least. A strength mod, unflinching hand cannon aim on the boots, shotgun, sniper scavenger, strength mod. And then on the class item, we're back to this radiant light to get that plus 20 strength. We got outreach, reduced melee cooldown. And this is just this is just filler mods right here again. And that's going to be everything. And obviously, these weapons are not what I'm using. The weapons are on my Titan. But these are the builds I'm going to be using, Titan, Hunter, and Warlock. Let me know in the comment section below what builds are you going to use? What weapons are you going to use? We still don't know what the exact meta is yet in Beyond Light. It's very exciting times. I love to figure out what weapons are going to emerge at the top. Who knows? Uh, there's definitely a, a pretty good balance of weapons right now within the sandbox. So we might see some new weapons rise up that we have never seen before. I'm thinking the Serm is definitely going to be up there. But we'll see. I could be completely wrong. That's my intuition, though. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. But that's going to be a wrap for this video. I'm going to leave you with some gameplay of me playing with the Sturm on my Titan to end this video. So you can watch that, vid watch that and enjoy. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And I'll see you in the next video. Probably just... Um, wall drop. Yeah, just wall drops. Probably just Banshee. Try Banshee. Definitely not from Banshee. It's a season, seasonal weapon. Oh, you probably won't be able to get them. Unless they put it. Oh, wait, no, that, is that the new one? Yeah, the one you shoot. Oh, that'll be nice. Probably you're bounty. Okay. You heard about the Secret Triumph? That what it is. Secret Triumph? Uh, for the... It's not revealed oh. yet. For the Deep Sound Crypt one. Um, uh, it's third phase. It, you have to deposit four orbs. The only question is, how do you get four orbs? You mean bombs or...? Yeah, the... Nuclear thing. We have geek inside of um, the what you're in there. Tempted to update my Discord, but then I'd be kicked out of shame. What's going on? Why is there a man standing behind that guy? Does, does it say what encounter you have to do it on? Uh, well, we got from a uh, white bunch GG, it's current short circuit actually. You have to do all four. Third encounter, it said. It doesn't say exactly what encounter, but it says when you meet. Because uh, on the. Uh, fourth on encounter. The, on the final boss, you can do all four. Yeah. We were doing all four yesterday. Yeah. You know. We did it yesterday, but we didn't get the triumph. I'm pretty sure we did. It's probably going to be a challenge. Use all four yeah. bombs at the same time. Yeah, from what I saw though, there was only one video when I switched up everywhere. And it was only on a attack. It was, um. Which encounter are you speaking about? Third one. Third encounter. The one just before the boss? Yeah. There's only Supposed three charges. Or three, yeah, uh... but if you don't shoot the thing with the operator, it spawns three charges. Oh, three nukes. Uh, yeah, three nukes. And then what I guess with some of my friends is that, if, which we haven't tested yet, but if you don't spawn in any of each time, maybe you'll, you'll end up getting four of them by the last one. Then you deposit in. So it's a match, it's an encounter one thing, but it's going to be annoying to juggle all of them and not die due to radiation.
and they don't think it is it because you bungee one in ten for it to be not them. Although there is a spot you can go to reset your um radiation by forging one of them. I was going to say, when I try and do these, um, when I do the grade ones, these uh, challenges, where it says, like, complete all, complete all encounters with a boy subclass, the whole team, in, like, stages. Oh. And... Yeah, I already got those done. I just need the, uh, flawless now, yeah, and then the four yeah, ones. I yeah, I was doing the prime grinding with some of my friends. <laughs> Should we try flawless? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, That'd be a no, really, I'll probably be the one to die. <laughs> yeah, that would take time. Imagine spawning in and then, yeah, Sparrow getting shot by an ad and blowing up and killing you. <laughs> yeah, well, you're able to get through the whole thing without getting shot by an ad. Telling y'all, dude, this freaking Sturm. The Sturm. Is it? Is an ass, dude. Holy.